so uh, my meeting mathematics started when I was in eighth grade, and it was a math club, and I enjoyed it very much. And then uh, we were supposed to enroll in high school, and uh, I submitted my application to one of the good, well-named high schools in, in Budapest. But then the uh, teacher who taught this math, math club uh, came one night and visited my parents and said that there is this less known high school, but it is starting a special class for mathematically talented students. Sorry? Possibly, but likely. It was still not, uh, it was, so, so he said that, and anyway, he said it, it's a good school, so I should uh, submit my application there, so, so I did. And indeed, at the end, in the last minute, the, this class was uh, approved by the government, and so we, uh, uh, other students uh, were then invited who were, there was a, a, a kind of, math competition in Budapest and the, the winners were invited. So we got together and started high school together, the, last, the four years of high school. And uh, for me it was really a, a big turn in my life. It, uh, uh, all of a sudden I was not the sort of the, the strange guy who doesn't play football so well as he should. Uh, I was in the, in the sea uh, I mean, there were C team of my class, so there were 33 kids, so I was in the last, last 11. So I was not a, a good uh, soccer player. And, but, but in the high school, all of a sudden, I, I was among, uh, among uh, young people who had uh, this uh, interest in mathematics and for whom it was natural that uh, that I, I also liked it. Uh, we had some excellent teachers, and uh, also it was a it was a special uh, uh, thing. Uh, in a sense, the the Iron Curtain worked well for us because. The mathematicians who lived, they were good mathematicians in Budapest, uh, excellent ones, and they didn't have the possibility to travel abroad, so they, they tried to uh, do as much at home as they could. So, so we had really outstanding uh, visitors coming to the, to the school and give a class or maybe a couple of weeks of classes or uh, the uh, most outstanding was uh, was Paul Erdős. He was uh, sort of one of the greatest names in graph theory and uh, and uh, combinatorics. And uh, so he came and uh, he gave uh, he gave uh, some uh, special talks. He always the what what he was great in was raising problems and uh, he. He could raise problems that were difficult, but you could, even a high school kid could understand them. And uh, uh, of course, some of these problems became very famous, and, uh, and uh, uh, some were easy to solve, some are still unsolved, but um, uh, I, was, uh, I was able to solve one of them. Now, it turned out that that was already, by Erdős and, and one of my high school classmates already wrote a paper about this, but uh, but I, I just want to explain the I think the personal greatness of Paul Erdős. So they had this paper, and I found an independently approved, but of course, but what I mean, it was already there. But he put in a footnote that this was independently also proved by. Uh, last all of us, so that was, and he always promoted very much uh, uh, that uh, that what we did should be known in the world, and uh, so I, I I I got I got interested in discrete mathematics and graph theory this way. 
uh, maybe a, that was at that time was not a fashionable subject in the world. It was considered to be sort of I, I forgot who was it uh, Whitney or somebody else called it the slum of algebraic topology. Um, but then computers came, and all of a sudden it turned out that this is a, a absolutely exciting uh, new application area of mathematics, and it's not so much analysis and, and uh, differential equations and so on that, that are needed here, but, but more graphs and, and uh, other discrete, uh, discrete objects. So, uh, we, with some of my friends, that, that's already, we were already around the end of the university, we started a seminar on that and tried to, tried to catch up with uh, what was going on in the world in, in uh, the theory of computing. And I think we have uh, established some, some, some good, uh, good school there in, in, in this area. So I, I always thought that there are periods in, in uh, mathematics where uh, mathematics and some other subject is, is developing uh, so close in such a close connection that it's, it's impossible to separate who is a mathematician, like physics and mathematics in the, in the 17th, 18th century. It's, uh, you that that was the big time when when mathematical analysis was developed differential equations and all these but also physics modern physics and and the uh, and if you talk about uh, uh, leibniz or newton or gauss uh, or euler it's impossible to tell whether they were mathematicians or physicists they were both now there was a similar period uh, in my life, and I am very, very happy that I, I was able to live through this when uh, the theory of computing and uh, discrete mathematics graph theory developed similarly in hand in hand, and, and they influenced each other very much. And most of the people are, uh, you know, it's different, difficult to tell. I mean, I, I, when I am asked, I, I am saying I am a mathematician. Maybe if Avi Wigderson is asked, he says that he is a computer scientist, but actually we are both working in that part of mathematics, which is the foundation of, of, uh, of computer science. So I, uh, that, that's the way I got in interested in these, in these areas, and uh, I, am, uh, I am happy that, uh, that I chose it, because I think it's, uh, it's uh, it's a really, really exciting area. Uh, nowadays, I think uh, the next big area will be mathematics applied in biology. And, uh, and again, discrete mathematics, in particular networks, is, is, a, is a basic concept that, uh, that has to be much better understood and much more uh, uh, tools, to mathematical tools must be developed in order to understand how a human brain or, the, or a, an animal's uh, this, the network of cells in an animal's body or, or maybe an ecological uh, uh, community, a, a forest, how does it work? These are, these are all big challenges to mathematics and I, I am uh, so I, I think uh, uh, the mathematical theory of networks uh, should uh, be, which is the same as graph theory, except viewed, viewed from another angle, uh, this really should become very, very much in the center of uh, science in the future. <laughs>